Today we're going to be touring some really cool builds that you all made for my most recent shell challenge. I want to start off by saying that I hated this shell. Not your builds. Your builds were great. It was the shell, like the shell itself that I built that I just despised. I was egged on by my Twitch chat to make it a little bit worse than normal, so it was three stories, it was fully diagonal. I mean, this shell was a nightmare. The hashtag we used for the gallery was Simsy Big Mistake, because clearly the creation of this shell was a very big mistake. And yet somehow all of you managed to make like the most incredible builds I have ever seen. So this is the shell that we started with and if you're not familiar with shell challenges the idea is that I build like the exterior shell of a building. I make it have a bunch of weird bump outs, some weird little things you got to work around and then I put this on the gallery for you to download and then turn into something. The rules are really simple. You can basically add anything. You can rotate it. You can put it on a bigger or a smaller lot. The only thing you can't do is delete or change any of the existing walls. So you wouldn't be allowed to like get rid of that little bump out. You're not allowed to add like extra walls to the exterior that's cheating, but everything else is fair game. Platforms, roofs, half walls, fences, literally anything goes. You just can't change the shell shape, hence the title shell challenge. And the beauty of this challenge is that everybody kind of goes in completely different directions. One person might make like a little farmhouse and somebody else makes a modern nightclub. And it's cool because they have the exact same shell. They have the same bones, but they're just completely different styles. It's a great way to show off the creativity of our community. I don't know. Shell challenges are so fun. I'm gonna link my own speed build of my attempt at this shell challenge down below if you want to watch that, and I'll also link some other past shell challenges too. But I've got to quit stalling because I have 11 builds that I want to show you today. This first one is the Waterfall Restaurant by Busy Bird on the Run, and just looking at this, can you believe that is the same shell? So this cottage was passed down between many generations, and nowadays it's a restaurant and also the best wedding venue around. Okay, so where to even begin with this, right? Like this build is amazing. The amount of detail that went into the exterior as well. So you can see that the building itself is kind of back here in the corner, but we've added a huge deck. It's sitting on top of this huge pond. They fully made like a waterfall using debug stuff. This is like debug waterfall pieces and they made a waterfall in the rocks. We have like some covered parking down here in the corner, like a little farmer's market stand. I think this might be one of my favorite parts of this. I don't know. I just, this is so cute to me. And you can see how much effort was put into like all of the little individual item placements to make it look real. And then if you walk across this deck, you can see right here is that little wedding venue spot they were talking about. And they weren't kidding. That is a really nice view. If you go further up, you have like the entrance to the restaurant. There's a lot of outdoor seating. We've got a little bar space right here. In the back, there's like a whole little farm section, it seems. So we've got like some chickens. They've got some places to grow food. I like to think that they grow a lot of the food that they have here. And you know what? I am so impressed by the roof line on this because my stupid shell was so bad, but they somehow managed to make it look so intentional. There's just so much detail on this. Okay, so when you actually come inside, you can see you walk in through this door. There's like an indoor dining room here. We've got a little seating area that goes to a bathroom. There's lots of little weird nooks and crannies, and that is not their fault. That is my fault because keep in mind, the whole thing is diagonal, so it's really hard to place like stairs and stuff. I'm quite impressed by how they've done this area here because keep in mind, this looks like they're diagonal stairs, but the stairs are actually the only straight thing in the whole building. If you look at the grid, you can kind of see the stairs are straight on the grid and then the rest of the build is diagonal So it's very hard to fit stuff in we've got a kitchen back here and then upstairs We've got another like smaller more private dining room. It looks like which is kind of cool They also have like a fun built-in fish tank thing this whole area looks so cool And then there's also a little apartment It seems like for maybe like the owner of the building and then on that third floor They've got some more space in their own private apartment major props to them for figuring out how to do the floor plan on this And also for managing to fit in like all of of this stuff because like I said the diagonal walls make kitchen placement and also stair placement so hard. I'm gonna have all of these builds listed down below in order by the way so you can find them on the gallery. This next one is the shell club base game built by Lucas on the gallery. I'm gonna have all of these builds by the way listed down below in order with like the exact name and username of who built it so you can find them if you want. I wanted to show this one next because it is such a stark difference from the last build. It's like almost hard to believe it's the same shell right? So this here is is a giant three-story modern nightclub built for Oasis Springs. Also base game only, so if you don't have any packs, you can totally download this. You'll notice that a lot of the builds I'm going to show you today are base game. I think like almost half are all base game. I'm starting here at nighttime because the colorful lights are so cool, but they did a lot of terrain manipulation here too to have it be really, really fancy. They've got like a whole water pond thing, like lazy river almost going around the whole build. And they did a lot with these cool like rounded deck pieces. I don't know, I just think 
this looks so interesting. I love these fun palm trees. That's a debug item that I kind of forget exists. We've got like some live music set up over here. And then when you actually come inside, it's so colorful. It's so pretty. I love the idea of the stairs being kind of like a focal point in this because again, the stairs are like the hardest part in this build. I love how the bar kind of goes around them. It makes it look really intentional. And then upstairs, we kind of have like a little stage set up over here. They got to use so many cool items that I kind of like never ever touch. For example, this thing, how often do you use this thing? And yet it fits so perfectly in here. I love this like pink, purple, and orange kind of color scheme. I think the stairs deleted. From what I can tell, I'm pretty sure there was stairs like right here, but they have a third floor with some bathrooms and stuff too. I don't know. I just, I'm obsessed with this. I think I'm so impressed by both of these because I am really struggling to build community lots most of the time, especially things like this. I'm really not good with modern builds and, and certainly not with like nightclubs and stuff. So I, I find this really impressive. Again, with a completely different vibe. This is the Snowfall Family Home by Polar Plays on the gallery. One, I love that they're called Polar Plays and then they built this snowy house. It just amuses me. But also look at this. This is a giant house, five bedrooms for like a wintry getaway. I don't even know where to begin with this, okay? First of all, it's a 50 by 50 lot, which is an impressive feat. All of these big houses they build on these giant lots, I could never. I'm so bad at building like giant lots. But there's so much detail with the terrain as well. We have this little pond down here, which by the way, it looks so cool when it's frozen over like that. There's a few little like hangout spots down here too. There's a fire pit. We also have this like horseshoe thing. And then you can go up this whole mountain side to get all the way up to the top where the house actually sits. And it has this sort of like cabin feel to it. You can also come down and up this like side staircase as well. I love all these little fairy lights kind of draped along this little deck here. I just think that looks so cozy. Okay, but when you actually go inside, you come in here and we've got like a little entryway space. They've got like some mail on the floor and some coats and umbrellas and everything. You come through here straight into the kitchen. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure where the front of the house is supposed to be. This could be the front too. I don't know. But I think that's the front door because it's got like the mail, right? <laughs> but you come into the kitchen here and this is what I did as well. I had the kitchen kind of like lined up with the stairs because cabinets place really weird on diagonal walls. You'll notice how you see how it gets that weird like shadow on it. Yeah, it's the diagonal wall that does that, but it doesn't have that on regular like straight walls. So I noticed a lot of people built their kitchens kind of up against the stairs and they kind of oriented it so it looks diagonal even though it's not. And I just think this room is so pretty. I love the little pet bowls here. So much detail with the big island. We have a little cat tree by the window right here, which I know my cat would be obsessed with. Granted, I guess you can't see out it very well right now, but you know, that's fine. In here, we've got a little dining room with a little bathroom off of it. We also have this huge living room in here with a big TV and fireplace and stuff. Loving the boat on the mantle. That is a classic. I used to do that in like every single one of my builds back in the day. Literally every single one I had one of those steamboats. I don't know why. I just liked it. There's a ton of deck space out here too, like off of all of the builds, which is pretty nice. And then upstairs, we managed to fit in like a little playroom here in this corner, which I am obsessed with. I've been trying to incorporate more of that in my builds. I'm, I'm very inspired by the shell challenges. We've got this bigger bedroom that has a huge private deck. I assume it's like the parents' room. They've got like a hot tub and everything with an ensuite bathroom. We've got a little kids' room right here. We've got this little office space. And then up this ladder, we fit in two more bedrooms and like a little sort of private seating area, like TV room cozy space. I kind of made mine, my third floor and my build into like a private movie room and playroom sort of thing. I'm impressed by how much they fit into this like really weird shaped space. Even this bathroom, like that totally works. This house feels huge to me. I don't know. It's really, really impressive. The landscaping especially, I just can't keep staring at. I love this view of it. All right, I got to speed up. I'm taking too long. I could literally sit here and just ramble about builds all day, but this next one is the base game Oasis Home by Micah282. Again with the base game, but I also just love this style of house and it fits in so well in Oasis Springs. We have this kind of running joke on my channel about the uh, three Ps. <laughs> <laughs> it's ponds, pets, and plants. You'll notice that a lot of people put in ponds. Also, very frequently, they'll hide in like little pet corners. Like when there's like a little weird nook, they'll just put like a cat tree and some cat toys and make like a proper pet corner or even like a full pet room sometimes. And we also have a tendency to put a lot of plants. And as you can see, this one takes off a lot of those boxes already. But I just adore the outside of this house. I love the use of these windows to make like fake shutters. I guess they're real shutters, but it's a, it's a shuttered window. <laughs> that looks like shutters on the outside. I don't know. I just adore this house. In the back, we have an amazing backyard with a huge pool and some seating 
and stuff. They used platforms to make this place have like a really sort of custom like elevated look to it. When you come in through this front door, you can see we've got like a really nice entryway plus a little sunroom sort of space here. They snuck a little bathroom off the corner. I love this plant wallpaper. I'm telling you, that's one of the peas. And then in here, we've got this adorable kitchen. It's so fun when people manage to fit in kitchens in like sort of odd shaped spaces. Like, this is kind of an unusual shape for a kitchen, but it works so well. They also made like a little fake breakfast nook, like banquette seating. Obviously this doesn't actually function, they can't sit on this couch, but it looks so realistic and it fits so well. We've got this adorable little living room space. And then upstairs we managed to fit in a bunch of bedrooms. There's three bedrooms up here. We have two different kids rooms. This primary suite has like a little private balcony. And then upstairs we also managed to get a gym and an office and a TV room. We've got like movie posters and stuff. I mean, this is like really good use of the space, I think. So functional for your Sims. And it's all base game. So if you're interested, you could totally download this and like any of you could play in it. Moving on to another completely different vibe. This is the Beachy Industrial by Profit M30. Can you believe that all of these builds have the exact same shell? It is like mind blowing to me because you would never know from looking at them. I've got my original shell here next door for comparison, okay? But this is such a cool style. I really liked this big long roof piece they made to kind of have some like architectural interest. Also, I know this is supposed to be a pool, but I'm telling you, Three peas, ponds, and plants. This is the kind of plants I'm talking about. We've got like living roofs, okay? Rooftop gardens, that's the kind of plants we mean when we're talking about plants from the peas. What am I even saying? You get it though. I love how they sort of combine this beachy style with the more industrial look. I also love how functional the front yard is. I tend to sort of make my front yard spaces not really used. But on this one, the front yard is like the primary outdoor space they have. So when you actually come up and then inside, we have this really cool like entryway with the staircase. This is kind of a sneaky trick that a lot of these like really incredible builders do for shell challenges. You might think, oh, it seems like they added walls to this. Yeah, they're half walls. It's not a real room. That's why it checks out. They put half walls and then put windows on it. So it looks like a full room, but it's not actually. And that, that's allowed. We say half walls are fair game and they did that. So so they could have like some more interesting roof lines and stuff. And as far as I'm concerned, that's fair play. You took the rules and, and you listened to them. <laughs> okay, but when you actually come inside, we've got this little dining room over here. Again, with a very interesting shaped kitchen. I kind of loved this. I also never used that counter swatch, so it's kind of fun to see it in here. We've got a little bathroom downstairs. This I was so intrigued by. So these are actually paintings. You'll see a lot of people in these shell tour videos, they do a lot of custom paintings. You can get custom paintings like this off the gallery. This one is by Aaliyah's LTS, for example. And these are like paintings that their Sims have made, painting by reference. They put them on the gallery. And then when you put them in your builds, you can get like custom artwork basically, but it doesn't count as having any custom content. And so they got these like marble ones to make this custom marble fireplace, like a huge stone slab in the middle of the room. I have never seen anything like that. That is so cool. Like I am legitimately obsessed with this living room. Then the stairs are over here and upstairs outside side. It takes you to this cool second floor outdoor space, but we also have a bunch of bedrooms up here. It looks like we've got, what, three of them? Plenty of space for a lot of Sims in this family. And they all have these really interesting computers for some reason. There's some of those downstairs too. <laughs> and then up upstairs on the third floor, we've got like a more private primary suite. They've got an ensuite and like all this outdoor space and another one of those really incredible fireplaces. I just love how that looks. I've never ever seen anything like that and I am genuinely genuinely obsessed with it. They made that whole thing out of platforms and everything. I just, I don't know. That's so cool. All right, this one kind of going on that industrial theme, but a different style of industrial is the not so big mistake. This one is by Emmy Cuello on the gallery. Also completely base game. This is an abandoned factory that was left to rot and labeled a huge mistake by the city, but now it has become a nightclub. So here is this build. And can I just say, I am so completely obsessed with this one. There's so many debug things they use that honestly I didn't even know existed. Like this sign, totally didn't know about that. And that's base game. They also got this amazing little parking lot set up. It looks so realistic. There's like so much to look at if you kind of walk around the whole build. I'm just so beyond impressed by this. Even back here with like this weird dirty pond, <laughs> but it's got lounge chairs around it. They have a hot tub, there's some bathrooms. I mean, there's just so much going on here in the best way. When you actually come inside, 
wide. First of all, the reflection from these windows, like the, the light looks so cool. We've got a little bar back here. Over here, there's like some live music playing. We've got some seating and TVs. They made like a custom dance floor in this space with floor tiles. We've got the pride flags. And then upstairs, it's kind of open to the first floor. They've got some gnomes up here, which I'm obsessed with. But we also have like a little bit more seating. There's a big deck up here and then some bathrooms, obviously. And then there's even a ladder to the third floor. And this has like some more storage, but also another bar space. I mean, this is such a functional, playable lot and it looks so cool. And again, it's base game. So any of you could get this and put it in your games right now if you wanted to. Here's it at nighttime with the really cool lighting. I don't know, they placed all of these things individually and it just looks so cool. There's so many things here that I've never thought to use in this way. Even like these, I don't think I've ever used this awning. Like honestly, I don't think I've ever in my life use this thing and it looks great right there. Every single one of these builds that I'm showing you today, in my mind, they are like pure geniuses. These people are so good at this. <laughs> All right, now I want to show you the Cottage Living Farmhouse by Porium G on the gallery. This is actually one of my Twitch mods and Gabby is so good at this. So I I've got to show you. This is one of those ones where you load it in and you're like, oh my God, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> like, I don't even know where to start looking at this because there's so much cool stuff going on. First of all, I love this little car spot that I think is so cute. This whole thing has also got like a huge pond waterfall thing flowing through it. There's so many details. If you just look anywhere, there's gonna be something else new to see. I love this little like farm section down here in the corner. This is also like a separate little apartment, maybe like a little like guest house or something kind of off to the side. Also, this little tiny detail of using this towel like a picnic blanket, I thought that was so cute. Here's the house from the back. They've even got like a farm section down here. We got a tractor. We have this huge farm farm with like crops growing in it. This part is actually a pool and it's sort of like water falling down into the rest of the water so your sims can swim here. And then when you actually come inside, we walk into this living room section here. We've got a little kitchen with an attached dining room. We have one bedroom downstairs and a bathroom. And then up this ladder, we've got another like sort of secondary living room. Now notice this size down observatory. We won't need this for long because this observatory will be soon a little bit less useful because we're gonna get an actual normal sized telescope soon in the update next week before werewolves comes out. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting too excited about telescopes. <laughs> we also have a couple more bedrooms up here, three more bedrooms, one bathroom, and then on the third floor, kind of like a storage space, attic area. This feels so realistic to me. They have like a little gym, but also just a bunch of storage up here. This is like so normal as to what you'd have up in the attic, you know, like old kids toys, an old bike, some like old sports equipment, some random boxes of stuff. I just, this feels so realistic in the best way. I love this house. Well, I don't know how many of you have waterfalls um, in your front yard. Maybe that part's a little bit unrealistic for some of us. I'm sure maybe one of you does, <laughs> but the actual interior is, it feels so lifelike. And then the outside is just, it's just amazing. It's beautiful. Okay, this one is also a completely different vibe. This is the Glow Shroom Home by Daisy033. They hashtagged it Fairy Home and Fairy. And this is just unlike anything I have ever seen. The glowing blue actually kind of reminded me of what used to happen on full moons in The Sims 3, how like all of the lighting would change to look like this. I don't, I don't mean that as a positive. I actually hated it about The Sims 3, but looking back on it, this reminds me of it. And I, I feel sort of fondly towards it because of that. But also, it's just so interesting. I've never thought to use like any of these items this way. These little glowing orbs are debug. They've kind of placed them around. We've got these glowing mushrooms and stuff. We have this amazing pond and all of the lights and everything. This is so cool. It's making me want to get fairies in The Sims 4. I know we're getting werewolves like this week, but I'd love to see fairies come to The Sims 4 now too. Come on, Sims team. I know you've been busy, but like, you wanna make me another pack? Thank you. I think I would be really excited about fairies in The Sims 4. I think that that would be probably my favorite occult type. But anyway, on the inside, you can see it's all very blue lighting in here too. I bet this was so fun to build. The floor plan is quite good as well. It makes a lot of sense. You walk in, we've got like a little office space to the corner here. The staircase is kind of right off of where the living room is. We got some built-ins around the fireplace. Down here, we've got a little dining room. Back here, we have this huge kitchen with so much cute clutter. This is 
is my favorite part of the inside, I think. We also have this little bathroom kind of tucked away behind the, the staircase. And look at all these little like art pieces the kid probably hung up here. I don't know. I just thought that was kind of cute. I like little details like that. And then upstairs, we managed to fit in a few bedrooms. We've got three bedrooms up here. A couple of them have little closets, which I kind of loved because I never really do that, but it just seems like it fits so well in this house. It seems like such a natural part of it, you know? And then up the ladder in this bedroom, we've got this like cool attic space. It seems like a really cool hangout almost. They've got just like interesting stuff everywhere. All of these books kind of stacked up by the desk. This little like woodworking corner over here. There's also an extra bathroom upstairs. I don't know. I just, I love how this looks. The vibes of the exterior of this house are so good. Like all the mushrooms. I don't know. It just, it looks really cool. And again, you would never know this is the same shell as like that nightclub from earlier, but it is. We all had the same starting point. I love shell challenges. They are so cool. All right, here is the base modern fam estate by Anair 3 on the gallery. I feel like I can't just not show you this one because Anair 3, every time they do one of my shell challenges, their download is like always one of the most popular from the whole hashtag. They just knock it out of the park every time and they do so many cool base game builds. This one, again, completely different vibe than that last one. I'm also noticing a couple of peas, for example, ponds and plants. <laughs> I don't think we've seen a pet corner yet today. The third P, but maybe, maybe. I guess not in this one, it's base game. There's, there's no cats and dogs here. But I love this one, especially because of the use of the driveway and the garage. You're allowed to add like exterior buildings, like sheds, garages, like you can add walls that aren't touching. And they did that, they are not touching. So this is fair game, but I love the use of the garage and the terrain to kind of make it look like there's more stuff going on over here. It's also kind of fun to have access to a space like this because you can put some storage and like some tools. This just feels like a really realistic, but also super nice garage space. Kind of in the back of this house over here, we've got an amazing backyard. There's a huge pool. We've got like a sunken hot tub attached to it. There's like a little garden space down here. I like the use of the wedding arch as like an arch that goes into the garden. It's kind of clever. I love this little like custom sand pit, like sandbox for a kid they made using just debug stuff. Like this is a debug thing. This is one of those items your Sims can make. These are just some debug like sand toys. We've got some lounge chairs with some towels. I mean, that is like really fancy. It feels very luxurious. And then when you actually come inside the house, we have this little like entryway here. There's a little closet right off the front door. It makes perfect sense. In here, we've got a big living room. I love this custom fireplace. I haven't really seen this done before, but these are little debug logs. A bunch of people use these debug logs to make custom fireplaces, but I love the look of like the cabinets. These are just those base game cabinets, but turned backwards to make like a cool, wide custom fireplace. There's a little tiny office kind of right here off this room. We've got a staircase upstairs and then a combined dining room and kitchen. Again, with the custom cabinetry. These are those custom paintings again, but like hung up to block the cabinets to look like custom cabinets. I also like the inclusion of the bar right here. I don't usually do that. I kind of like forget to put bars in my builds, but that fits in really well, I think, in this shape. And you've got plenty of counter space still, so you might as well. We also have a little tiny bathroom. This is great because it's a really weird space. Like the shape is kind of odd, but what a great way to like tuck a bathroom in, you know? Let's not forget we have this huge outdoor kitchen as well, kind of right off the real kitchen. And then upstairs, we managed to fit in a bunch of bedrooms. There's three bedrooms and two bathrooms up here. Also like a little private balcony space. And then up upstairs again, we've got that third story with like a private gym area, some more private balcony and like a little painting area, which is kind of cute. This just feels like a super, super playable house. It's got like everything you need for your sims to be happy and a lot of skill building space too because if you needed to you could put like anything your sim needs for their career in here sometimes it's kind of hard to fit in like gym equipment when you need it and stuff like that but there's great space in here for it this one is also a little bit more modern this is the modern family home by liana li3 liana i don't know liana on the gallery this one i was pretty impressed by because i just cannot pull off that style like that is so different than anything i ever build i'm just not good at that kind of thing i mean i never make any Anything like anything we're seeing today. <laughs> These builds are all like way better than mine, but this kind of thing I have such an appreciation for too, because it's just, it's so hard for me to make this look good. Couple things I really liked. Number one, I love the white walls with the brown accents, even down to like this little, like more copper colored, like awning over that window. I also love the shape and the use of all of these really cool like slats to make these custom walls. It's interesting the kind of things people do to make shells 
look intentional. And I love when they add in stuff like this. I assume there was a lot of the tool mod being used for this. Also, a couple things to note. Number one, it's really hard to put the houses on foundations for this because you can't have diagonal stairs. So you'll notice a lot of people today had to do stuff like this where they made like custom platforms or they had like decks, like big, big, big decks. And then the stairs were up to the deck and the deck was the same level as the house because you can't put a staircase like right here because you can only have stairs be straight and the whole house is diagonal. So there's been a lot of clever solutions to that problem. I love how this looks with the little lights too. And we also have this little mailbox and some trash cans out in the front, very realistic. The backyard is amazing. There's like a custom kitchen. We've got this huge pool. Same thing with the custom like platformed staircase. I also love this like sand pit kids play area. And then when you actually come inside of the house, we've got like a little entryway right here. There's a tiny office off to the side. We got the staircase right here. They tucked a little like piano and a, a guitar underneath it, which is so cute. Back here, we've got a bathroom using that decor to the max kit flooring and it looks really good in there. We also have this huge living room space and this amazing kitchen. I love the color scheme of this house. It's very like blue and and mauve almost, and it's really pretty. Also upstairs, we managed to fit in two bedrooms, this really cool like hallway space with some more slat wall details. Both bedrooms have their own ensuite bathrooms. And then there's a third floor and the ladder is out here. So it kind of takes you to like a little balcony and there's another bedroom and also like a little ensuite up here, but they've got like a whole art studio thing going on over here. I think this is so fun. Again, it is so hard to fit in staircases and stuff into these builds. You'll notice a lot of them did ladders for that reason because the diagonal stairs are so hard to do. It is so difficult to try and put a staircase up here. It takes up so much space and the, the shape of the house is so weird that it's really tough to fit stairs. That was like the biggest problem I think most of us had. Again, as we know, the shell was a big mistake. All right, and this is the last one I wanna show you today. This is the Cute Large Family Farm by Scar Sims on the gallery. This shell was a challenge. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> You've probably known Notice this, but loads of people go for like cottage themes, farm themes with builds like this. I think it goes like one of two ways. They either go modern so they can use a lot of platforms to like cover up the weird shapes of the shell, or they go cottage and they try and embrace the weird shapes of the shell. And that's why we see a lot of houses like this. But this one I was just obsessed with, again, because of the pond, I'm telling you. But it's kind of like a river almost through the whole center of the build. They even have like a little custom bridge and it's functional, like you can walk across this. This kind of build is just so fun to do, but I was obsessed with the roof of this. I feel like this one does not look like the shell at all. It is so, 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 so cool. But when you first walk up, you can see they've done a lot like with these custom archways to make like really interesting shapes. We've got this huge farm area back here with some cows and chickens. And that kind of goes all the way around the whole back. I love like all the little clutter too, how we have like little like garden pots and bikes everywhere and like a little picnic basket by the bench. I don't know, it's just, it's cute, it's cozy. This right here is the the actual front door. So you walk up this way, you come inside. We've got like a little entryway here, which again, feels very realistic. To the left, we have like a little like craft room almost. It's got like some candle making and stuff. Also disregard this bathroom. On the gallery, they were like, oh my God, I forgot to put wallpaper in one of the bathrooms. I got you, bestie. We've all been there. I have done that many a time. Don't worry. <laughs> we have all done that. We have a little bathroom right here. We also have like a little office space. I love the use of these little like dangling plants here. Three peas, ponds and plants. Where are the pets. Is there a pet corner? I'm not sure. Anyway, we've got like a kitchen, dining nook, huge living room. I love this big open space that you can hang out in. Upstairs, we managed to fit in like four bedrooms, which is huge. And they are all so detailed. I am obsessed with the clutter in these rooms. You can just tell that so much love went into this build. I, I'm obsessed with it. This pink one especially, I think looks super cute. The pink one actually has an ensuite bathroom. This little toddler room is pretty cute too. There's so many little details in here. And then on that third story, Story, we managed to fit in another bedroom with like a huge ensuite. I think this might be like the primary suite. I feel like because it's the biggest one. I love this little like desk nook, especially. I hadn't seen this before where you use like the, the bookshelves that way on either side of the desk, but it fits perfectly in there. And how cool does that look from that angle? I might steal this. Like, I think that looks so good. I mean, all in all, every single one of these builds that I've shown you today has been absolutely amazing. Like I said, I'll have all of them listed in the description box down below. I'm gonna put like the exact name on the gallery and their username so you can hopefully find them. I'll also link my speed build down below so you can see what I 
I made from this shell. And if you like shell challenges, I've done loads of them, so I can link some previous shell tours too. Also, if you want to try and do one of these builds, I've got a huge backlog of like past shells on my gallery if you want to download one and try and build it. And I also want to thank everybody who made a build for this shell challenge. I know it took you a very long time, trust me, because it took me a long time too. And I'm sorry if I didn't get a chance to tour yours in the video. It's really hard to pick ones to tour for the video, and there's like literally hundreds on the gallery. The video feels like it's way too long already. I wish I could tour them all. I'm serious. I would love to if I could. But if you want to go look at some of the other ones from this shell challenge, it's hashtag Simsy Big Mistake on the gallery. Go give it a scroll. You will see so many cool builds. And I think with all of those disclaimers done, I'm gonna end this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. I just love shell challenges. These are like one of my favorite videos to make. I have spent a long time over the past couple of weeks like digging around on the gallery to find the ones for this video. So I hope that you enjoyed it and I will catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Looking at these builds makes me feel like I don't even know how to play Sims, and I do it for a living. Literally, I am a professional simmer at this point. <laughs> but when I look at these houses, I'm like, wow, I suck at this.